Got faith? Got faith in God? Like really God. What do you mean really? Really got faith. Like really, really. Really, really, really. Really, really, really. You are really Moses. Some would say. I see. Well, if you were really Moses, then you would really have faith in God. Well, duh, yes. Uh, I mean, if Moses doesn't have faith in God, then who does, right? Of course, even Moses. Uh, Some would say you are Moses. That's right. Uh, even Moses had his moments of doubt. Wow, really? Like when? Like when God told you to split the Red Sea? Mm, no, I was pretty sure about that one. Like when you weren't sure if God would provide food and water in the desert? Mm, no, no, that was pretty much a given. Like when God said he would take the Israelites out of Egypt? Well, now that you mention it, you know when I killed the Egyptian taskmaster with my bare hands for beating up my Israelite brother and buried his corpse in the sand. <gasps> you killed an Egyptian and buried him? Well, some would say. I get it. So you, Moses, killed the Egyptian and when he went out the next day, you saw two Hebrew men fighting. Yes, yes, yes. And, and I said, hello there, hello there. Why dost thou strike thy fellow? You said thou with a British accent? Yeah, well, yes, for dramatic purposes. Uh, w why strikes thou thy fellow? And he said, Who made you chief over us? Are you gonna kill me like you killed the Egyptian? Yes, yes, good, good. Art thou going to kill me? Yes, yes. And then I, Moses, grew frightened. And I thought, the matter is known. And then fear found out and wanted to kill you. And you ran away to Midian because you were scared. Well, Pharaoh is scary, you know. He's got these big, mean, cruel, scary eyes like like this. So cruel. And he's got a really big stick, but b bigger than mine. And that's the time you didn't really have faith in God. Well, no, no, not really, really. But really, yes. Really, but now really, really? Fides, but not... Confides. Uh, translation? Fides, faith, yes. But confides, confidence, no. Is that like Ibuna and Bitochon? Yes! So, you still had Ibuna and God, faith, but not Bitochon, confidence? Well, yes, you see, Ibuna means trusting in God. No matter what, no matter what God does, even if you're miserable because God is Punishing you. Imuna means having faith in the punishment. Because it's for your own good? Exactly. It's for your own good. You may not understand why it's for your own good, how it's good, but you have faith that good it is. Because God is good. Amen. But you're not necessarily confident that God will make everything good in an obvious way, in a way that you can enjoy. Right, that's more than just emunah, faith. That's bitachon, confidence. Because, after all, you may not deserve to enjoy God's benefits in an open, obvious way. Maybe you're a sinner. Maybe you're a sinner! So bitachon means believing that God's goodness is greater than your badness. Hallelujah! What? God is good, right? God is good, God is great. God is good and wants to do good. God wants you to experience his good, even when you're not prepared to receive it. The sinner has nothing with which to receive the divine goodness. Like he's got no hands. Like he's got no hands. But he can get hands. <gasps> By repenting. Even before repenting. What wisdom cometh from yonder, from out of the mouth of babes. Tracht gut wit sein gut. Tracht gut wit sein gut, my favorite mosaic Yiddish expression. Think good and it will be good. That's what you mean by bitachon, right? Even the sinner can find hands for receiving the divine goodness in an active, positive reaching. It's a matter of confidence. Yes, yes, so well put, yes. Bitachon, confidence in God, is a positive, trusting, joyful attitude that causes obvious, tangible boons to be realized. Tracht gut, wird sein gut. See, Mr. Moses, 
You really can have confidence in God. Really? Really, really. Really, really? Some would say.